Welcome back, guys. Let's talk about the conference, conference finals. finals. All right. Marky Mark, take it away. Let's go East. East. Boston Cavs. Who you got? How many games and why? I want to see. Oh, Ooh, man. how many games and why? Yep. Go ahead, PJ. Cavs. Six games. I am a believer of the GOAT. Bah! You witnessed, you witnessed the, uh, I've witnessed. I honestly was Those not, fadeaways kind I've, of got yeah. you mem uh, hypnotized, eh? I obviously wasn't. I wasn't like a LeBron guy. I was doubting LeBron a lot. Yeah. But LeBron just... Showed you. Yeah. Show the and whole just, Toronto. Just show the whole Toronto. If you go to LA Fitness, like LA Fitness is like the watering hole, like all these ballers <laughs> talking. You can hear everyone's mind change about LeBron. Everyone talks about LeBron now. Like, oh, I can't believe they, he did that to our city. Like he changed a franchise. He dug a grave and then Raptors are there. He went right he here. Went, he went to, we, they they made, made us extinct the whole like, yeah. yeah and he went to City is, Hall. He went to City Hall and tore down T.O. and then put yeah. LeBron toe. You know, yeah, <laughs> like LeBron's just a different beast, and I feel like, yeah, you can't stop the man. Like Cavs against Boston, you're talking about LeBron being just a beast and just being senior, and you're you're going against rookies. Obviously, Brad Stevens is a genius, and you know he's a coach of the, he's coach of the year, like arguably. Candidate, Candid yeah, but mm -hmm. he, he's he, the, the way he got all the potential from all those players. It's basically LeBron versus <laughs> Brad Stevens in Brad my books. Stevens, yeah. Because LeBron by himself just makes everyone better. And, and if all his players are playing to that level, if everyone's making shots like they did against Raptors, mm -hmm. I think it'll be game, uh, six, six games, I think. Because Boston, Boston will get some wins for sure. Yeah, adding to your point, I think it is LeBron technically yeah. against Brad Stevens and his system of uh, influencing his players, that grit and grind um, mentality for all these rookies. The, the don't be scared, don't fear. It's it's only LeBron James and uh, his, his other co-workers, uh, Kevin, co uh, Kevin Love and uh, J.R. Smith. Yeah. Um, I think I think I think the series will be four-one Cavaliers. Uh, Boston will get a game, but I don't think they're gonna they're gonna go to Game Six. They're mm -hmm. they're gonna win one game at least. Um, it's it, yeah, again that grit and grind that they're gonna be able to uh, try to. Uh, come away, steal a game against the Cavaliers one day uh, uh, during the series. So I think LeBron James will go to his another um, finals again. I think, and plus, because it's, it's, this is during LeBron James, I think, best, arguably the best year of his, uh, his whole career. So mm -hmm. what do you yeah. think? It's hard to doubt LeBron, like you guys mentioned. But like, I, I believe in the system that Brad Ooh. Stevens, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go against you guys. Just because I'm not, Ooh. it's not because I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of LeBron, but I'm just saying it's, it's hard to keep the performances we've had. Uh, I, I don't know if he can keep it consistently. Uh, He's been keeping it consistently. More likely he years. will be, more likely he will be. <laughs> but what, what, what I'm not trusting is the role players that he has surrounding him because they didn't show up in game, in series one. They were, they showed up against the Raptors. I don't know if they can keep it up against Boston because Boston is, is, is well in terms of how they prepare. They're much much better at preparing game matchups, and they're much better at it defensively as well. They're more prepared. They know exactly how everybody in, in, the, uh, in the Boston locker room knows exactly what Brad Stevens is going to do. They're going to follow it religiously. They're going to go at it, and they're going to follow a game. And blue, they have a blueprint. Whatever Brad Stevens is going to do, every single person, no ego whatsoever, is going to follow it religiously. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's exactly what they're going to do coming into the game. And, and, and I know they have players that are uh, tough-minded and are not, are not scared of going at LeBron. I feel like they have players like Terry Rozier. This guy's not scared of anybody. Mm -hmm. Marcus Smart's going to get at LeBron the way Lance Stevenson is. And I think Jalen Brown has that kind of dog mentality too. And Jason Tatum is just cool and collected, but this guy's not scared of anybody. He went at, a couple times. He went a couple times at, at Embiid, a lot bigger than him. He went a couple times at Simmons too. So I think J uh, Jason Tatum had that star in the making and I feel like this is he's going to continue to play the way he did against the Sixers so I'm going to call it seven games mm -hmm. just because mm -hmm. the fact you can't doubt LeBron like I'm mentioning I, yeah. I'm not trying to doubt him but I'm doubting his his supporting, supporting cast, cast yeah. because Harold Horford was a really good defender mm -hmm. on Embiid imagine what he can do against Love so if he can shut down just Kevin Love and just and be stay on the shooter, even if LeBron gets 40-50, <laughs> I think Brad Stevens and like, get him, let him get his numbers in terms of scoring wise. But he's gonna take that playmaking ability and get all his role players in those uncomfortable situations because that's what he did to. Uh, that's how they were able to get a good win against uh, a good win on the series against Philly because 
what's happened? Well, Simmons became a non-factor really a couple games into mm-hmm. that series. He he planned it. He had a really good play, game plan. I think that's what he's gonna do with LeBron. Mm-hmm. So I'm not doubting LeBron, but I'm I'm trusting the the system that Brad Stevens has done. Mm-hmm. Seven games. Hey, but Boston. you know nothing can stop love. Love is a very powerful force. <laughs> well, I answer, I answer your point because like Mark and Mark talk about role players. I think it'll it'll slowly get to the role players of Cav- uh, the Cavaliers role players of you know oh Boston's not, uh, not a team to mess around. They're mm-hmm. not. You got to be serious about this team. I think it's going to be just like how what happened during the Raptors series. They are losing the first game and they're going to come back and try to get back to the mentality that we cannot lose to the Boston Celtics. They're not. They're not a bad team. We can't just think like, oh, we're going to just beat them, we're going to sweep them as well. This is, good. this is a good team to match up with, and it's going to be a great team. And it sucks, but only the thing is, it sucks to not see Kyrie Irving, you know, match up with LeBron James LeBron. in the conference finals mm-hmm. once again. If, they, if the Boston wins against LeBron without even Kyrie or Hayward, that's just... There's a lot of talk. That's a lot, of, be a lot, lot of, of talk. Things for kind of LeBron to think about. And a lot of memes, too. Yeah. All right, <laughs> what about the, war- the Warriors and the Rockets? What do you guys have? Who Ooh. you guys think who's going to win it, and how many games? Is what we've been waiting for, you know. Yeah. One of those. Everybody, finals yeah. This is what everybody expected mm-hmm. in terms of. I'll go Warriors in seven. I want Warriors in seven because mm-hmm. I feel like the Warriors. They've been listening to this chatter a lot, mm-hmm. and I feel like they want to prove something. Mm-hmm. Everyone's been asking all the media. Everyone asks, like, are you? They ask uh, Golden State, are you ready for the Rockets? Are you ready for the Rockets? And the thing is, the Rockets are built to go head on with these guys. They mm-hmm. have almost the same style of play. They have superstars. And I feel like Golden State will just come ready, mentally prepared, and just ready to go, ready to prove people that we're still the, t- we're still the ones to beat and mm-hmm. no one can come near us. So I feel like Golden State in seven, and I, I, just, I just say seven because I want it to be an exciting series and I want mm-hmm. it to be so close that it just comes down to that one shot at the mm-hmm. end. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, you know who's going to hit it? Yeah, adding to your point, is yeah. Houston has now finally built a team to actually match up with the Warriors. Yeah. They'll closely match up, I, I believe. I think Warriors will actually beat them in six. Mm. Uh, I think that it's going to get to their minds again. The Houston Rockets, they uh, won't be able to compete with the Warriors, even though they're like kind of even, uh, almost match up to them. But I think Warriors still have that advantage of, you know, these are their defending champs. They know what to do against the Houston Rockets. They're, they're not going to be scared. And I think... You know, Houston, they won't fall apart too much, but it just they might they might just get overwhelmed by what Golden State can still do with their offensive juggernaut, the top five, the top starters, you know, Seven Curry, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green. So uh, Warriors in six. Mm-hmm. And you? Yeah, Warriors is the clear favorite. Yeah. Um, he, Curry is my favorite player. Yeah. But I think uh, whether it goes to six or seven, it all depends on how Chris Paul and Harden performs. Like, everyone has... Always, you know, both of these players have had a history in terms of not playing to their potential, not playing their best basketball when it matters the most. Uh, Chris Paul's had that with uh, when he was in the Lake uh, Clippers. Harden's had that a couple of times, had a couple of breakdowns during the you know the Western Conference Finals. So for me, it depends on whether it's six or seven, depending on how well these two step up and play. Mm-hmm. But Warriors are going to take it. So do you think they're going to step up though? I, I, I want them to because I want this to be I want this to be a good series, but it really all depends on their perform uh, in terms of how well they're uh, they go through because they're going to be defended by some of the best defenders in the Absolutely. league. Either Clay Thompson is going to guard them, Durant mm-hmm. is going to guard them, or Draymond Green. Those are three players that are scary to mm-hmm. you know to have to go against. So yeah. imagine being defended by those. So those pick and rolls are going to be hard for Harden because he can't get mm-hmm. as many mismatches as he try as he could be. Yeah. It depends. Maybe he's going to try to get pick and rolls to get Curry on him, so maybe he can take advantage of that. But it's hard when you have players like Draymond, Clay, and, and Durant who knows how to play elite def- defense. Yeah. And he, not just elite defense, but also health defense. Yeah, It's exciting because yeah. both sides of the concert finals, you can see MVPs that want to prove themselves. We've got LeBron mm-hmm. trying to prove himself, and we've got Harden that has to prove himself. Because mm-hmm. MVP's on the line, you know, mm-hmm. just that validation. Yeah, exactly. yeah, for sure. And hey... If you didn't know, Victoria Cup's coming up. So hey, talking about MVP, are you? Have you been practicing with your team? Are you going to be the next MVP? <laughs> We're going to be at Victoria Cup. I feel it's next week, like that. So we'll be there. Other than that, if you have any questions, concerns, make sure you hit us up on our, all our social networks. Anything you'd like to say before we end? Hey man, uh, shout out to uh, my documentary. Uh, check it out real quick. Uh, youtubecom slash the Come Up Basketball. Uh, don't forget uh, as well. Uh, follow us on Pinar Quasar. All of our social media accounts will. 
a lot of content there and we'll you know keep the conversation going about these last few games of these playoffs in the NBA season. Mark? Other than that guys. <laughs> Alright, he's still hurt. Alright, take care guys and stay balling. <laughs>